OK, here's a quick tutorial on creating a new database for Horus. And the reason you want to do this is to keep your cases separate from one course to the next. So we quickly just create a new folder on the desktop here. We'll name it new just for the purposes of this video. And I've already copied my DICOM files to the desktop. And I like to keep the DICOM files separate to the database so there's no possibility of database corruption and loss of files you're keeping the files separate on the desktop and you'll see how I do that in a second so here we are with Horus we've got my normal default database here and if I go to file new database folder and I just navigate to the desktop and I choose the folder that we created which was new so let's just click create and it will create a database folder net on here. So let's say I'm doing one course, I'll use this database folder. And if I'm doing another course, I'll use this database folder. But this one, of course, hasn't got anything in. We need to click import and let's find some files to put in. So desktop, Mac, DICOM files. Let's go for something that I know will open quickly so south end rapid reporting I'll just click no there and this is the important bit I'm copying links to the database I'm not copying the files copying the files will duplicate the files and you will run out of disk space very rapidly so let's copy links and here they are so I've got my new database and I can just switch between databases nice and easily and what I would recommend is keeping all of one course in one database and how you can do that is you can import everyone's files into the database but so long as people have named their files appropriately so I've named my cases here John Cole 0001 and so on 0002 and I can create a smart album so if I just add smart album I can just label that JC and if I select a tag let's choose the patient name and we can add John Cole so if we create there I've created an album with all the names that begin with John Cole now to get your names in this order uh, if you watch my DICOM anonymization video you'll see where you can put it in in that example I use case 001 but you can change it to a unique name and with that unique name you can make a smart album so if you have a prefix for every single case that's unique to you such as your first three letters of your first name and first three letters of your second name you can then create smart albums or you could do it on a um, on the basis of what your what the case theme is so for example chest 001 or JC chest 001 and then you'll be able to make smart albums if of course everyone hasn't done smart albums and has just used um, random anonymizations then you might want to just make several new databases which is fairly inefficient but will still work very well. So that's uh, an introduction to databases on Horus or Osirix and uh, a quick look at creating smart albums. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like on YouTube. It helps my channel. Thank you.